Hi everyone. There is a good news for Maharashtra MBA CET 2020 for students. First time ever in history CET cell has released answer key that is your response sheet along with your question paper. Okay? So basically what they have uploaded on your account that is the entire question paper of your particular slot and for each question what is the correct answer and what is the answer marked by you that they have mentioned uh, that 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 uh, that uh, response sheet they uploaded on your uh, in your cd cell account so how to access that let me show you so what you do this is the uh, website uh, this is the uh, address of that website where you need to visit so i just click on that so once you click on that this is how the uh, page will open now on this page look at here they have mentioned cds on that you click on that cet 2024 25 part so if you click on that it will ask for your registered email id and password once you put that details it you will be able to log in into your account so i just put the student details over here now once you put your details correctly this is how your page will look like now on this page there are various tabs registration profile help desk and all you click on this objection tracking you click on this objection tracking once you click on this objection tracking okay you can see here maharashtra mba cet 2024 okay and there is mention as raise an objection once you click on that okay it will upload your question paper but before that it will show you some instructions so what are the instruction they have mentioned all the questions along with their options and the correct answer will be displayed sequentially means question number 1 2 3 in that order the paper will be displayed choose the type of objection uh, for type of objection from the drop down again the respective question you may write justification or additional information in corresponding to text box of your objection means if you feel that particular question the answer is not correct or the framing of the question is not correct you can raise your objection for that and you can support your objection with some explanation now you can upload the file also you can write some explanation also in fact you may also upload any file as a justification to your objection okay once you have mark all objection you will have to make online payment of 1000 rupees for each objection raised so if you raise the objection for in five questions you have to pay 5000 rupees fine please validate and confirm your objections before mark making the final uh, payment the objection accepted shall be considered while awarding marks during the evaluation stage so what they will do they will get the objection from all the students if they re get some objections for each slot they will go through it and if they find that particular objection is correct they might uh, skip that question or they might uh, award marks for to everyone for that question but generally it has happened that whenever such question has a problem they skip that question okay so i just click on proceed and now this is how your question paper is uploaded right so i just give you a rough idea for example for this particular question okay uh, for this particular question the correct option is 3 and the candidate response is also 3 fine so like that you can actually first make use of this uh, data available for calculating your score so what is the correct answer what is the answer you mark on the basis of that what is your total score so that first thing you should do then you can solve the question paper and wherever you feel that there is a problem you can raise objection but that's a costly process but please understand one thing before raising an objection for any question what is our experience is that all these questions are copied from the some or the other websites very rarely any questions of these papers are the original questions so if you feel there is a problem in particular question you can first type that question on google okay in any search engine you put that question you will get a, it will might get that question somewhere in the search engine go to that website check the explanation over there if you find okay that explanation is correct and what the answer is correct then you skip the objection otherwise you feel that explanation is wrong there and you have a correct explanation for that then you can raise the objection for that okay so if you find any such questions uh, you can 
put it in the comment also for you please mention your slot number and give us some reference of that question so that can we can also cross check we uh, at time our faculty team will be also going through all the questions and checking are there any errors uh, for any question and accordingly we will take the corrective actions also so that's from my side so i'll suggest you please uh, download this paper you can uh, choose a print option and once you choose a print option you can basically download this paper in a pdf form so there is no need to verify everything online you can download the paper in a pdf form and through that pdf question paper now you can calculate your score fine so all the best all of you thank you